Okay, so in this video, I uh, I wanted to show uh, how I'm doing my my fundamental analysis. Uh, just to, uh, just to uh, sort of I know, just to make a little bit of a note. I'm not really good at fundamental analysis, and this is uh, this is just showing the you know how to say the brief, very brief uh, uh, making of a fundamental analysis. So this is this is the way I do it. So basically, whenever I try to know about some names in more detail, what I firstly do is actually uh, uh, go and uh, try to uh, listen to the uh, conference call by using this app called uh, Quatar, and uh, I love this app because. Uh, let's see, I just a DSK, right? A DSK and uh, bringing up this name, and I just press and uh, you know, listen to the latest conference call or, or some you know, um, some, some kind of conference, right? And I go and hit start to listen. And uh, what I love about this uh, app is that I can just skip over to the Q&A section immediately by uh, pressing this button. That's what I love about it. You know, because uh, most of the time, they, uh, you know, the management of each business uh, makes it first, and I say the initial, uh, what uh, initial, uh, um, you know, presentation or prepared, you know presentation but the, most of the time that part is pretty much uh, kind of it's a made pretty much is a made up and uh, I, I'm most of the time completely ignoring what I want to listen is the Q&A section that's done between the management and analysts and I'm listening to what they sound if uh, you know the management the analysts are uh, thinking pretty much uh, thinking that they are satisfied about the result or about the future or how how they are you know if they are excited about the future or if they are uh, you know dissatisfied about the result or something like that. So I'm listening to the sound of their of their their voice. So. You know, while I'm doing other things, I usually put this on. And while I'm listening uh, the, to, to this in the background, I usually go to, you know, uh, let me see. For example, I uh, go to the uh, uh, Edgar and uh, ADSK. Wait, wait, wait. ADSK? It's not, uh, it's not coming up properly, so let's see. One more time. ADSK. Right, okay. And uh, I usually look at the 10K. 10K also, but the 10K actually is the only the financial paper that's uh, reviewed by SEC, if okay. I'm uh, understanding correctly. So they cannot lie <laughs> in this uh, document. So this is the most tr trustful, legitimate document. So I open this, but uh, it's uh, it's from March 14th, so a bit, uh, bit old one, but let's check. Okay, I open up, and I, what I, where the parts that I usually read is the business part, risk factor a little bit, and mostly the management discussion analysis part, these three things. And of course, I just kind of <laughs> skim through this financial paper part, but I'm really, really not good <laughs> at capturing uh, business in numbers, so I, most of the time I skip over. So. I go to the business, oh, this is very small letters. You know, I have a bad eyes, I cannot read it very, very well. But okay, let's see. 
you know, there's a global leader with 3D design, right? So it's a software company for the product designing. And uh, their product is, a, as far as I understand, it's a CAD system, you know, the 3D, the product design and software. And I'm just kind of skimming through all this, and it's so small, so I cannot read it pretty much. You see, there's an AutoCAD, and Autodesk Build, and Revit. I think these are the names of the products, the actual products. And uh, you see, I, I'm not understanding mostly all these manufacturing, the MFG, they're calling the MFG, Fusion 360. I don't know what it is. Uh, inventor, bold. Okay, so let's go next. Product design, introduction. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah. No, at this point, I'm just looking. I'm not even reading it, but uh, trying to find some places that I notice, for example, like this. The majority of our. So let's, let's, uh, let's stop this one. Okay. Let's see, uh, where was it? Or the majority of our research and product development is performed in the United States, China, Canada, India, Singapore, and United Kingdom. However, we employ experienced software developers in many of our other locations. Translation and localization of products are performed in several local markets, simply uh, principally in Singapore and Ireland. <laughs> We generally localize and translate our products into German, French, Italian, Spanish, Japanese, Korea, and the simplified and traditional Chinese. So basically they are saying that uh, they cover pretty much all the main uh, you know, manufacturing and design, design country, design intensive country. And I just go through the marketing and sale. I'm not, well, let's see. You know, I just kind of noticed this kind of number place and what it's saying. It says the sales through our largest distributor tech data corporation and its global affiliate accounted for 37%, 36%, 36%, so about 37% of their net revenue are going through this large distributor called tech data corporation and its global affiliates, right? So, the thing I um, come up with my mind, come up to my mind by reading this kind of thing is that, uh, so they are saying about 40% of the uh, net revenue worth uh, sales, uh, well, net, net revenue through this kind of big uh, distributor. So, the um, margin the level mar level of margin gets squeezed for going through such distributor. If they you know sell directly to the end consumer, they can you know sell at the full price. But uh, well, you know, if uh, the company is, doesn't have a sales channel, then uh, this is pretty much the only way. So doesn't mean anything much. But uh, that's what what it comes up to my mind. Okay, so anything else? I just go through. See, this competition part I read a little bit more carefully. But uh, so basically, who is that? who's their competition? It says primarily go global competitor includes Adobe. Adobe is that Adobe, right? And Bentley System, Dassault System, I say. Sounds like European and subsidiary system solid works. I've never heard. Intergraph Corporation, wholly owned, blah blah blah, Hexagon Software Corporation, Oracle, Procore, PTC, 3D System Corporation, Siemens, Tribo Navigation, yada yada yada. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, because most of it, you know, I only know Adobe and uh, what well, Siemens and others. What else? What was it? Um, Oracle. These are pretty much the 
or the three companies that I know of. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't have much knowledge about this field, but okay. Intellectual properties, all those things, I just skip over acquisition. So they acquired some companies in 2021, May, March, and 2020. Okay, I don't know these names. Okay, is there any risk, risk factors? Most of the time I skip the risk factors, so I just directly go to the MDMA page. Okay, uh, is there anything I notice? Um, see, I'm just skimming through. I'm not really reading letter by letter. I just going through like this. If there's anything I notice, see? This kind of thing. The argument really AR, BR. So they're into this field. Yeah, it's kind of understandable because uh, it's a product design software and it can, you know, by using these new technologies, adopting new, new these technologies, it can uh, sort of uh, you know, accelerate the process that for the designers. So make it u make it easy use. That's a good way to think. That's a good way to go. Digitalization, the global reach, blah blah blah. Okay. Impact at all the desk, blah blah blah. Critical accounting policy, and estimates. Hmm. So these are the parts that I'm not understanding very well. So let's skip over. Uh, okay, right. See, this is the part that the financial papers comes in. Comes in, and I uh, just look at the numbers. I really do not. Okay, so it's expanding. Net revenue. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty much the way I'm skimming through 10K. Uh, right, so this is a, so how much, how, what was the percentage among the different products in terms of this is a revenue, right? Yeah, revenue, net revenue. Okay, and uh, what's the percentage? percentage among the different you know, geographic area, U.S. and other Americas, e MEA, this is the Middle East and uh, East Asia, I think, Asia Pacific, and so forth. Hmm, okay, so that's one thing I do, and uh, and I uh, go to the uh, company's IR uh, IR page. And I usually look at the, you know, uh, I was just looking at this, for example, a company overview video. This is a short one, uh, less than two minutes. I didn't tell me much, so I just go to next. And uh, this was a good one, investor overview presentation. And I, you know, see, the, the, it's the same thing. I, I don't know, I'm not really understanding all this. But just by just skipping through it, oh, wait, wait. okay. I'm just trying to find something that I understand, and uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just to get a feel about the company. For example, this it says a resident subscription foundation, recurring subscription revenues with. Strong retention rates and greater revenue visibility, and so so number recurring revenue percentage number is going up in almost one hundred percent, which is good. Uh, remaining performance obligations, long term and current remaining, is going up to the right to the right hand, hand side. This is good. So that's it. Within the subscription financial, okay. Diversification at scale, so uh, they can they are covering pretty much all the manufacturing, you know, uh, 
segments and uh, a lot of uh, good geographical segments. That's what it was saying, basically. And multiple growth vectors. Uh, I don't know, I understand English, the vectors, but looks good. This Can graph looks right? good. Discipline and focus. Non gap over the margin, gap over the margin. I don't understand if it is good or not, but looking good, it's, you know, going up to the right hand side, so. Capital allocation strategy. Yeah, skip. What is this? Return capital to shareholders. It's pulling back a little bit. I mean, uh, where is the, see? I'm not sure if this is good or not. Okay, let's go. Uh, company, blah, 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 where we're going. So see, I'm just skipping, see, see, this kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, so the revenue growth is 10 to 15% a year. And free, ca free cash flow margin is 30 to 35%. So this is generally pretty good in my scale. And this is a key, you know, rule of 40. The rule of 40 is something that's applied to, uh, you know, software company. Uh, it's sort of showing the, uh, you know, the level of growth it's having. And it's generally said to be that over 40% is good. So it's having 45%, so which is really good. So this kind of key thing that I'm trying to find. Okay, what is this? Don't understand, I just skip over. This is going through like this. I think nobody is reading it board by board. Some do, some, some do, but uh, yeah, not to me, so. Okay, diversify. Diversity and we don't keep okay. So, uh, for example, this is a the board of, board of management, right? Look at this, the non-executive chair of a board, Autodesk, joined in 2011, so 12 years ago. So he's, like, more, he's working more than 10 years, but uh, looks like a relatively new team, 2018-19. Well, 22, uh, 17, 19. Why is this guy's photo is black and white? I, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Data, yada, yada, yada. Connected everything for customers in industry. Okay, now let's go back and uh, keep listening to this while I'm doing it. You know. I like listening to the you know these conference calls and stuff past. Uh, presentations while I'm doing this, while I'm, you know, reading all this company I, IR presentation and thank you and so forth. And I'm just skipping over things that I don't really understand. It. And I think it's okay. So they cover a wide range of a global area that are especially key in the in the manufacturing and designing. So it's good. So they design a lot of infrastructure thing. See structures. And the uh, software is used for building a uh, you know, uh, this kind of uh, complex, multi-complex buildings. So this is also good. It's a 70% five-year care, 40% five-year care both active subscription and then billings. So, looking good. The cost of creating content is rising. Huh. 
bigger game balls, longer movies, and more sophisticated visual effects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I read pretty much all. So this is a desktop version of Market Smith. Increasing good. Com numbers coming in strongly. PE ratio pretty high. Book value is pretty high. All these looking good. And what I want to see is the competitor. TPC is something that I saw in a 10K. Who was it? PC over here. Okay, let's go back. Maybe I just change the view to the group. Not coming up, so I just close one. So, synopsis, cadence, this is the one whose competitor, the auto desk right here, 51 billion, so the salt is 64 billion, is even bigger than auto desk, and PTC is also, it's 20 billion, it's a smaller one, better as well, 15, 15 billion, so, okay, so, the desk is in this, you know, in this group ranking, it's secondary bigger one after the salt, right? Okay, then I try to check other companies, uh, other companies, uh, maybe market cap, is a market cap? Not okay, then I just go through like this. Synopsis is, looks like it's something different, so just, let's skip over. Alter engineering. It, the name didn't show up in the 10K, so cadence, again, is a different one. That's all right, this is one. So it's a French developer product lifecycle management and mainstream 3D software application. So, so this is a competitor. Uh, 65 billion market cap. Looks like a chart. This is ADR. So chart looks a bit weird. A bit strange and I see the red tall bar. But uh, it's kind of breaking out from the pivot point currently. Uh, well, it looks okay. Numbers are coming in, very thin number of funds. And uh, this rating doesn't look good as good as the Autodesk. Okay, not that impressive. Okay, is there anyone I, who's in? Okay, nobody's in. Okay, let's go next. This is Autodesk. It looks much better in charts. It's breaking out from a solid pivot point. And you know, going higher than the previous highs. 
numbers are coming in strongly, number of funds increasing, 3,074. All right, rating is good. Okay. T PTC, so this is not a direct competitor. Uh, 20 billion, the smaller the size, I mean, less than a half. Uh, the numbers, see, there are red negative numbers that I'm seeing, which is a negative points. But the chart itself is going, looks good. I mean, let's see the rating, uh, relatively okay. So this is a smaller name. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So another one, Bentley, fifteen billion. So it's a lot smaller, one third the size of what the desk. The rating numbers are okay, looks okay. It's not the chart is not even reaching the pivot point. And there are some IBD funds in there. Yeah, next year and the uh, next this this year and next year, estimate is going high, which is good. Okay, so uh, from in my eyes, the Autodesk chart looks the best, and. Uh, You know, I'm listening to the conference call. Yeah, so they're just speaking about the, you know, the uh, generative AI stuff. And they're speaking about the cloud a little bit. So uh, basically they're sort of enhancing the cloud's technology in order for the designers to be able to use the, uh, you know, the generative AI and all the AI new technology uh, to uh, help their work, designing work, which makes a lot of sense. And if, yeah, if you know, these new technology can help automate the designing process, that's a huge plus. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, Autodesk is working on it. That's what I'm getting from the conference call. So, which is a you know, good plus. Yeah, and uh, sometimes I go to the, uh, you know, the earnings whisper page. I just uh, hit, uh, you know, sur search the uh, ADSK and uh, have this page, bring up this page, and I just check the Check the result of last earning result, and all the numbers looks good. Uh, 2.04 per share and 1.41 billion, and a consensus is 1.99, so beat 1.38, so it's beat. Blah blah blah. blah. We obviously expect to order. Okay, so well, a dollar and 91 cents, a dollar and 97 cents per share for the revenue. Of 1.422 to 1.437 and the current consensus was 2.01 so it's lower from the uh, consensus right consensus eps about the revenue is 1.343 so 1.43 is so uh i think it's uh, right around the middle of this you know the range that they have given so uh, the if the guidance EPS is a little bit weak, weaker. Okay. So that's how I am, you know, trying to uh, get the feel about the individual names, and I really like listening to those, you know, uh, conference calls and presentations, and especially the Q and A section, just like I am doing right now. You know, I get some hints. Of what they are doing, and uh, you know, by uh, listening to the exchange between analysts and the management, I can I can kind of grasp grasp uh, how management and the analysts are feeling about you know what's currently going on and uh, what they think about the future. So 
just to get the feel, you know, just to get the fundamental feel about it. So, it was a bit brief uh, introduction of uh, my own methodology of fundamental analysis, but uh, I hope that, you know, somebody can uh, utilize my, uh, uh, what I'm showing too, so in the future. So, thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.